Barbara Sexton Smith, President and CEO of the Fund for the Arts, and wow, were those Olympics fun and exciting over the last few weeks, and boy, the red, white, and blue really made us all proud. As a matter of fact, I'm proud of everyone who competed in the Olympics this year in London. But the Fund for the Arts, we brought home our very own gold medal, not from London, but we brought it home from the Children's Theater Foundation of America. That's right. Wearing around my neck here is the uh, Orlin Corey Medallion for excellence in children's theater work in America. And the Fund for the Arts is proud to do our part. Thanks to you, we were able to provide more than 400,000 arts experiences for children just last year. Speaking of children and arts experiences, school is getting ready to start. But before we get into school, let's do a little summer reflection. Fun for the Arts launched the first ever Schools Out Arts In program and 14 community centers all across the community provided more than 700 experiences for our children this summer. And thanks to AT&T and the Community Foundation of Louisville, we were able to make this happen with your support. So the children got to experience programs with Walden Theater, Louisville Visual Art Association, Kentucky Shakespeare, Stage One Family Theater, and of course, Kentucky Museum of Art and Craft. And joining me this morning is Aldi. Yes, we got the yeah. man himself. Aldi stepped in here. What do you have there, Aldi? I've got a bag of names. A bag of names? Yeah, I'm not, I guess you're going to draw one of these names. Well, I think we are. As a matter of fact, uh, so many folks responded and sent the Fun for the Arts Facebook page out to all their friends. And in this bag are all of the folks who are eligible to win four tickets. Oh, wow. wow. To the Kentucky Opera's uh, production of Tosca in October. Uh -huh. And the lucky winner is. Oops. I Terry can't. I Irwin can't. Foster. Oh, Terry yeah. Irwin Foster. All nice. right. Hey, we know Terry. As a matter of fact, I bet that's the same Terry that is uh, runs the Louisville Youth Choir. Could be. Yes. Yes, it is. That's great. Maybe <laughs> she'll take some of the students from the Louisville Youth Choir I, to see I that production. So, for sure. Okay. So talk to me a little bit about what's happening well, this fall. Well, this uh, this autumn we have a very exciting program here at the Kentucky Museum of Art and Craft. Uh, on September seventh, we have Storytelling as Craft opening. Uh, this will be about 10 international and local artists from the Commonwealth uh, who will be uh, addressing ideas of narration and, and okay. storytelling. And uh, we'll be having activities, uh, sto local storytellers will come into the exhibition, we'll have a stage set up for people, uh, and um, we'll have architectural tours with his, uh, historian Rick Bell um, going on on the weekend, so there's be plenty to do here. Well, that's exciting. So then we're going to have busloads of kids pulling up here, right? Absolutely. Our educational programs will be full steam ahead. Jefferson uh, County Schools will be opening up again, uh, of course. Uh, I don't know, 50, 100 kids a day will be rolling through here, uh, all again trying to tell their own stories through art. Oh, that's exciting. All right, and I know that those kids in Southern Indiana are going to come across those absolutely, bridges. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone's welcome here. Okay. So we've got something for everyone. So we thank you very much for all your support of the Fund for the Arts. Come on down here to the Kentucky Museum of Art and Craft. See what the art of storytelling is all about. And just remember, together through the arts, we create a great American city.